It's an interesting feeling to feel so drained. Like there's just no source to tap into to, to refuel. The biggest goal now is to get as many nutrients. Speaking of which, I'm getting lightheaded. Yeah, I might need to sit down. Hold on. You good? I'm really lightheaded. Oh. I couldn't stand much longer. I'm sure it's due to caloric intake being you know, in the negative compared to expenditure. <sighs> you can rest up. I'll, I'll go look for food. I don't want to walk back empty handed, especially while you know, Rose couldn't even finish a sentence, needed to lay down. If she's feeling like this now, I don't know how she makes extraction. My goal coming in was both of us walk out of here, so uh, I'm gonna do, I've got to do everything I can to try and uh, fix that. Surely we've got to get lucky eventually. I'm a leaf in the wind right now. Barely hanging on. I just want to scout around the edge of this ecosystem and the, and the edge of the next one. That's where a lot of animals hang out. Hang on a second. I heard something up here. I don't know what it was. Either a big pig or... Uh-oh. Big pig. Ah. Big pig. Ah. This is nuts. Sorry, but We spent the majority of this challenge looking for food unsuccessfully, and now we have food to last us the rest of our journey. So just absolutely amazing. I am so filled with gratitude right now. And then I'm going to be filled with pork. Is it glorious? That tastes good. That first bite of food is out of this world. There should be a name for haven't eaten for 16 days. This food is going to take us all the way through to the end. I'm going to say me and my partner are going to walk out on day 21. It's like I can feel energy returning to my body. It makes such a difference, doesn't it? Monumental difference. So I'd say the rest of the night, we just cook pig and eat. Good morning, with full bellies for the first time since we've been here. We got breakfast. Mmm. Tastes like Christmas ham. It is absolutely phenomenal. I'm gonna try and eat as much of this as I possibly can. We are not out of the swamp yet. <laughs> Up. All right, I've got my machete. Got my yeah. snack stick. You got that stick. I think we pretty much got everything. I think we do too. All right, let's get this map. Let's have a look where we've got to, look what we got to do. Waz and Rose will have to travel three miles through a maze of black swamp water until they reach a deep slough used as a waterway for the largest alligators in the area. Some as long as 14 feet. If they make it to the other side, they must then travel another mile to their extraction point, keeping their heads on a swivel for deadly black widow and brown recluse spiders, rattlers, and water moccasins. Oh, oh that's pretty deep. Whoa! It makes me a bit anxious feeling things on the bottom. Yeah, there's no telling what's down there. Ooh. Oh, oh, good job. Ah, yay. 
scarier than I expected. Woo. This is obviously some pretty solid water moccasin territory right here. Lots of logs for them, places for them to hide out. Just careful with every step. <sighs> we keep thinking that we're going to get to a big clearing, and then it's back into the swamp. The idea of talking to my son is definitely the driving force right now. Keep pushing, because we're going to lose a lot of time on this. I have no idea how close we are. Definitely starting to feel a little bit different, like it's drying out some. Oh, watch your feet as you come through there. I'm keep pushing. One foot in front of the other. Oh, hang about, Rose. What? It looks like it's clearing up up here a little bit. Oh, my gosh. We're out of the saw palmettos. To the open space. Oh. Oh, can you hear that? Oh. Here we go. Oh. Hello. Oh, my god. Yeah. We got it. Oh. Hey, oh, my this. god. Waz is a very thoughtful person, and I'm very, very grateful for that. I really couldn't have asked for a better partner. Oh, my god. Hi, boss. Oh, my god. Holy mother of moly. Was that a high five? Oh, yeah. We made it. Coming out the other side with my partner next to me, that sense of accomplishment for me is a massive thing. We pushed pretty hard. I'm pretty proud of that. The sense of achievement from finishing this challenge is absolutely indescribable. I am most proud for my son to see my being able to push myself and come out the better on the other side. In the end of the day, I learned a lot about myself. Drop me anywhere in the world, and I'll walk out the other end. Yes. We did it. Rose survived the Blackwater Swamp, having lost 26 pounds. Her PSR rises from 6.8 to 7.0. Waz lost 37 pounds. His PSR rises from 6.8 to 7.5. I'm blessed to, uh, to have been able to experience that. So grateful. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity, and I did it. And it's a badge of honor that I can wear with me for the rest of my life. Woo! Thank you, Black Floyd.